We do have some noticeable changes at a popular park in the South Bay. This after last week's deadly shooting at Peck Park. The suspects are still on the loose tonight. CBS 2's Jake Reiner is live in San Pedro with the very latest. And Jake, that mass shooting last week not stopping families from coming out this weekend. That, that's right, uh, Ross and Leslie. A lot of changes here at the park. And I'll give you one of those changes right here if you look over here. The police presence is throughout the entirety of Peck Park. And like you said, they didn't stop any family from coming out here and enjoying the park. You finished? Yeah. Let me see here. You do yours. Without context, grandmother Tony McHenry looks like she's spending an ordinary Sunday at Peck Park with her grandkids. We came back over to this park to enjoy, just sit down and have a happy meal. Now, she still very much was enjoying the day at the park, but with context, it's been a week since a deadly shooting at the softball field that killed two people and injured at least six others. McHenry says she's not about to let that thwart her plans. You cannot leave yourself inside being fearful, being scared. We still have life and we got to live it. And how to live it is doing the things we love to do. A noticeable difference Sunday, the police presence all over the park, seemingly just as much black and white as there was green and brown. People shouldn't have to fear. Come back out. Come back out and enjoy Peck Park. Police say the softball league was permitted and was set up to bring different Crips members together peacefully. However, two people who showed up there had a dispute and bullets started flying. According to LAPD, there was supposed to be another permitted softball game on Sunday at Peck Park. But as you can see, I'm the only one on the field. Sunday's game was canceled as well as the rest of the permitted events at the park on Sundays for the rest of the summer. There's violence wherever you go. Roland C. planned to be here last Sunday to throw a birthday party for his four-year-old granddaughter, but she came down with a bad cough, and fortunately for them, it was canceled. A week later, he's back to try it again. I get the sense from you that you kind of just have to live your life, right? Either that or, or, or hibernate at home. So according to the L.A. Times, there was a nearby car show, but police say that was not related to the shooting. And as far as we know, the suspects in this shooting are still at large. Reporting live in San Pedro, I'm Jake Ryan.